go out. Let's go make. Good girl. Good girl. This is so sweet. Welcome to, come on, let's go. I'm trying to take my dog out while I do the vlog at the same time. Um, let me start this in the car. morning welcome to the vlog it's been a minute I need to shut my door okay I need to like adjust the seat because Pat was just he wakes up earlier than me and goes to the gym and they're literally staring at me out the window right there they are <laughs> um, so welcome to the vlog I'm doing a day in the life I'm doing a day in the life vlog. Um, I'm doing it kind of because I'm not shooting content today and I'm going to the gym. Pat goes to the gym earlier than me, so he already went and I'm going. Triple point, Hi. triple double last night, didn't score three. He, so he went earlier and now I'm going to my solid core class, which I typically am only doing like once a week. Um, it's kind of not my normal, like what I would like to do. Um, so yeah, but I'm gonna take you guys, I'll hopefully, be able to show you the class a little bit. I don't know if I can do that. And then I'm supposed to get lunch with a friend, but I have like so much work to do back here, just like admin work. I feel like it was a good time for me to show you guys just what our day is like here and give you a little moving update. We're not moving, just an update, life update, I guess. A lot of you have been like, what are you, where do you even live? And I feel like it's just something we should kind of discuss or I should just keep you guys updated with. I'm gonna be late if I don't start driving right now, so. Let me go. I'm going to put on one of my favorite podcasts. Um, I'm putting on a podcast. I haven't listened to what we said in a while, so I think we're going to listen to that one. Is he doing? Anyway, this is so hot. Oh my gosh, it has it all the way up. It's like springtime. Perfect. An hour and seven minutes. Hey, Caroline. Okay. Love you. Love you. Let me put a together hat in here. Tell me if you guys like these. We made these hats. They're for together. We are not selling them right now, but I feel like they're really cool and like such a cool color. So let me know if you guys like those. Maybe we can start selling them. Um, anyway, I got to go. I'm going to be late. But yeah, we're going to do an update. We're going to do all the things today. So to my workout, which is an hour away. Okay. I just made it to solid core. I'm in the garage because I'm that's where parking is and I wearing my glasses, which I haven't worn in a while. I keep a pair of glasses in my car so that I can see when I drive, which is probably ideal. Um, I have like really bad vision and I wear my glasses sometimes, but I don't wear my contacts anymore. So yeah. Oh, I have like 10 minutes and I don't want to go in. Oh my God. I haven't worked out in like over a week and I say this every time because I'm just, I haven't been very good about it. But I've been busy, you know? Like I can't, can't do it all. Okay, we're going in and I have to check the code. So a lot of you guys are like, we want your workout routine. I don't really have one, to be honest. I don't wanna like pretend I have one. I come to Solid Core. I have to drive an hour to get here right now since we still live with my parents. Eight, eight, two, three. Okay, that changes, but. Um, but I do that like once a week. I used, I was doing it two to three times a week um, a little bit ago and now it's just one time a week because honestly I just don't have the time and like driving an hour like I just don't help myself when it comes to this. I could probably find a workout class near where I live that I like but um, I haven't and I don't want to because I just really like, I enjoy doing solid core. It's the only thing that like keeps me going, keeps me motivated and stuff so I just really like it.
just finished my salad for class. It's so loud in here. And now I'm going to get coffee. And I'm like walking in traffic. Okay, so I just did it. It actually felt so good. I haven't done it in a little bit. And every time I do it, I take Anna's class in Philly, and she's just so good. Um, I'm going to get coffee and I actually have some work to do but I'm meeting a friend for lunch so before that I have something I have to post I am working with a brand actually the brand is Cuts I don't know if you guys know them but they're a menswear brand and a lot of you ask me like what are your favorite menswear clothing this is such a good one this is my brother's like favorite brand and Pat's one of his favorite brands so I have to go post that I'm literally walking across the street in traffic trying to survive it's been so nice for me to do this like get out of the house and although it's like kind of a far drive i feel like um it's just nice for me to like get my independence back like start doing things that i like to do by myself because now the patent i do like we just do so much together and we haven't really found like a good group yet so to get lunch with a friend right now but before I do that um, I just wanted to talk about my workout routine because I feel like you guys all ask about it and I don't really have one so I like, never know what to say um, but I do salad core I feel like I just talked about this I do salad core once a week I try to do it at least once a week and other days what I used to do is I used to run um, right now I've just been walking a lot more one because I have really bad hips so hips are always hurting me I think just from years of doing gymnastics the reason I love salad core is because I was a gymnast I feel like and like that type of workout like Pilates is just like what I love to do it's very slow moving but it's very hard it's very like muscle fatigue type workout I don't like anything that's gonna be like too intense which running typically would be like something I would hate but um, it was more like a stress reliever when I would do that so that is what I do now. I feel like it always is changing. Um, I try to do some online workouts sometimes, but really I've been slacking in the workout department, I have to say. Like once a week if I get to solid core, that's good. Because I've been traveling a lot, I feel like I haven't really been on a schedule, um, which I'm okay with right now. Like it's nice to be on a schedule, but it's hard to stay on a schedule for like a long period of time. So yeah, I have so much to do with work right now that I'm sitting, hoping I can park here and gonna have lunch with a friend and then go back home. And I feel like I'm gonna explain our living situation and like life update a little bit later today um, because I just have other stuff and like other work I have to get done, but yeah. I just got back home. Hello. That's what I got. That's what I got. A ticket. I got a parking ticket today. No. I was like two minutes over my meter when I had lunch. And um, they said, ticket, $36, pay that. So thank you, city of Philadelphia. We love you. Also, I'm eating a Lara bar, kids Lara bar. So good. Pat's over there working. Will is in the crate. We're about to record a podcast episode. It's Tuesday. Typically I like to do this on Monday since it goes up on Wednesday, but we always fall behind. So I need to write some notes. So I'm back home. This is the day where I typically will not. Honestly guys, I'm gonna go into more of like a life update, but um, I haven't been like getting ready for the day in a long time unless I'm traveling for like work and content or whatever like this is what I wear every day like this is what I look like I try to not wear a ton of makeup when I don't have to because it's just like I think better for my skin if I don't have to do it although some days I'm like okay it would be nice to like get ready put makeup on and like feel better about my day and like obviously you guys probably know that feeling where you just like are in a slump and like wearing sweatpants every day it doesn't help that but that's just kind of where I'm at 
I have my water. I'm still going hard with my water and drinking a ton. I do not do two of these a day. I just think I don't, I have slacked, but I do at least one. Um, and then I try to do more. Take my vest off. I'm wearing that like Aritzia um, jacket over my workout clothes. Oh. I feel like I've talked about this before, but like literally whenever I do workout or if I go to work out, I close the window. I will stay in my workout clothes the rest of the day. It just is what it is. And it's one of those day in my life. I should probably label this like day in my life doesn't get ready. Day in my life like admin work. Whatever. We were about to record the podcast. It's very late. We have our notes here, which usually we typically write notes before just so we have an idea of what we're doing. But most of it is like pretty off the beaten path, if that makes sense. I feel like that's a stupid analogy, but we are going to record. I don't know why he moved our stuff. So... I will show you, I'm just gonna kind of do like a little fast forward moment for the podcast. So you can see like we literally sit on the floor and record, so. strict routine yeah. to me it's more about and like this is like the least helpful thing it's just like about like holistically being like in moderation or um like be like combined with always watching what we eat yeah not being super strict but like you know cutting back on some stuff okay we just finished recording the podcast i feel like this is too high i just can't see our bodies it looks like we just have heads um we finished recording the podcast which by the time this is up the podcast will probably have another episode already but we were just doing that we usually do um on mondays but i feel like we've been oh, my freaking thing is gonna die Battery. Oh, damn it. um but let's see how far we can get connor just wanted to give you guys a little life update we have really none <laughs> we really don't have any we work we have our dog we, we work talk about where we're gonna live yeah we work we have willow and so basically we're still at the beach house my mm -hmm. parents beach house we're so grateful to have them because we've been living here for literally almost six months now it's ridiculous yeah mm -hmm. six months mm -hmm. i can't believe that and we've been going back and forth we just haven't come to a decision of like actually what we want to do like we're still it's been nice like honestly saving a lot of money to like if we decide we want to buy a house or something um, we still partially want to be like in the city like obviously the whole california thing was a thing that i don't really think it is anymore yeah right now um i think just because of like willow and like the movement and everything it just kind of was like not something that we too much want to pursue and also like i'm not obsessed with la i don't think i love la that much i would if we were going to move there it would be like you know orange county mm -hmm um but yeah we're still trying to figure that out i think the move where we're gonna live is like the big thing i think other than i mean just like both work for us and yeah work and where we're gonna live i feel like that's like the only thing that's been on our mind but the summer is approaching so we kind of had the winter here by our, ourselves my mm -hmm. parents aren't really here in the winter yeah and come the summer they'll be back more because they obviously want to spend time down here where when it's nice out Mm -hmm. um so we've kind of just been trying to think of like what we're gonna do and we have back and forth between like should we rent an apartment somewhere um we really want to do a project meaning like we want to rent something or buy something fix it up and kind of like airbnb it so that's been on our mind we just don't know if it's like 
the right time or like where we would do it but that's a thought and so yeah those are kind of like where that's where we're at if you guys are new here then you probably don't know that we like lived in philly for a year and then we got out of that and we've been living here for six months because a lot of people are like oh where do you guys even live because i don't really show it i don't talk about it yeah um so yeah we've been here and it's just like we've been traveling a lot so i feel like that's what i've been showing i haven't really been showing more of like our home situation yeah and like our day to day yeah the whole timing of like our wedding plans and covid and now like Weird. what real estate even like renting buying like all of that combination the market is just crazy we're being knocked by all of that like culminating which a lot of people are but us, which yeah, yeah we're not we're not unique in that but like we're feeling the effects from it which is yeah what it is so that's really it there's like nothing to say um nothing is going on other than us having a million conversations and like repeating the conversations over and over again but i don't feel like we maybe made a breakthrough today oh maybe julia thinks we did you don't i do for you oh my god for us babe. that is so us. annoying for us that is so annoying oh gosh i'm about to have a real fight with you why why are you saying that for what i mean I'm saying a breakthrough for you. Like you came You to don't an feel idea. like the breakthrough. No, 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 no. It's for us. Like it's our living arrangement, but I think it was a little bit more of you being stuck. having an actual solution to something. I think like a decision on like what and I think this is a good option. I'm not gonna say what it is right now. It's really nothing. We have like nothing, but um yeah. Okay. We're actually gonna go, Pat's gonna cook and I'm gonna show you guys his whole, we'll go through his whole cooking. Mm -hmm. I don't know, he's been cooking a lot, as you know, I show some of it on Instagram, but we're gonna make salmon and I don't know, he's some gonna Some vegetables, vegetables, whatever. potatoes or something. So we're gonna go to the store and get what we need for that. We're so in love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, your neck probably hurts. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. To the store. Gotta get gas. Oh yeah, we have to get gas. Yeah, Gas is like, $84 a gallon. Oh my God, it's so expensive right now. What is the reason for that? Oil prices? Yeah. But why? I think because Russia is the largest exporter of oil in the world. So is it like harder to get right now? Just with everything going on in Russia and Ukraine, I think things just aren't as easily being moved mm -hmm. around the world. So what are we making? Salmon? Salmon oh, rice bowl. bowls. Salmon bowls. bowls. Yeah. Do we need rice we need too, flowers. right? Nah. So here's the dilemma every time. What? We just buy free dice. I know, the onion, right? Yeah, do we need onion? I don't think we Yeah, need we onion. need onion. No. That's fine. It's just easier. Oh, sun-dried tomatoes. Yum. Cucumber? We have many cucumbers. Yeah, rice, spinach, carrots, garlic, onion, avocado. Yeah. Do you guys remember getting dirt pudding as a kid with worms and stuff? They sell it here. Yeah. <laughs> no, we have cookie dough bites. Oh. Okay, this is a real problem. We have gone to the grocery store. This is something we hate for ourselves. I hate this for us. We never remember to bring bags, ever. But we have them in the car. Like we put them in the car to remember to have them. And literally we were just checking out, like walking out the door and I said to Julia, we forgot our bag. Yep, again, they're in the car. In the car. Well, I don't know why we can't remember this. It's so frustrating. There they are. Cool. Should I accidentally drive this to the greenhouse? No. Why? I love that. No, but I would like, to... we had wine last night, didn't we? Yeah. hate doing that. I have a problem. I need to do a poll. Or I'll put this in the comments or something. How many, if you guys are like, I wouldn't even say drinkers, because I'm definitely not a drinker. But like, how many nights, oh my God, look at the car. It's beautiful. Oh. Um, how many nights a week are you having like a glass of wine? Or how many glasses of wine are you having a night? 
I get so weird about it and hard on myself when I have, when I'm like, okay, I wanna at least save it for the weekends. But I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. I, like worked on today. Yeah, you did though. A little bit. This is my problem. Now we can just gawk at some of the amazing beach homes that we drive by every single day. Where's the one I really like? Is it this aisle? This aisle. 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 Street. Okay, this next street coming up. The third one in? Yeah, yeah, third one. Oh my god, there it is. Third one in. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, like look at just the windows in that one. It's so pretty. Wow. I love it. <laughs> okay, well you better be good. No running around. Go. I'm getting in the shower, William. Okay. Pat is about to make dinner. And of course, I'm going to show you guys what he's making. He's going to make salmon bowls. And he's just like the chef around here. So, I am getting in the shower. What is she doing? She's so... Oh, she's bad. I found this from Michelle's. When I stayed at Michelle's. William. Oh my god, here she goes, zoomies. <laughs> this is what she does. I found this Junior Watkins Detox Aromatherapy Spray. It smells so good. It's turmeric and citron. You just spray it in the shower when you get in and it makes the shower smell amazing. I've been using this Whey Body Wash. I love, love, love it. I actually wanted to show you this stuff. So I use this Kopari uh, Body Bumps Be Gone. And I have like bumps like right here on both sides and like obviously the back of my arms where I feel like most people have them. Um, and actually notice that they've been going away. So this stuff really has been working for me. Like I feel like I didn't know what to expect but I feel like my skin is a lot softer. I don't know what's in here that makes it like do that but it's I really like this stuff and I use it like every time I'm in the shower. And then I've been using Living Proof which is the shampoo conditioner, leave-in conditioner. It's not really a leave-in. It's just a mask, and it helps with the frizz. Get! <laughs> Get out of here! Okay. Go! Go, 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 go! Go! William! <laughs> Get out! Okay, so I'm doing skincare before dinner, just because I just got out of the shower. So I'm using the Whey Body Cream. Love this stuff so much. I wish I had a travel size of it so I could bring it with me wherever I go, but I use this for like my body. Um, my skin's been like kind of dry recently. I feel like every time I'm out of the shower, my skin is so dry. So putting this all over my legs and then like it goes a long way. So I really do like this one. I need to shave my legs. I never do, but summer's coming. So gotta get on that. Also, it smells so good. It's like very refreshing smell. It's not anything like too uh, scented, but it does have a smell. Feels so good putting lotion on right after the shower. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Okay, so that's that. What do I have next? I use the Kopari Coconut Rose Toner. This is just like I spray it usually on my chest and my face. It's very refreshing, it smells very good. That's the first thing I do. I got into Summer Friday's Deep Oasis Hydrating Serum that I've been using and I really like it. So I'm gonna use some of that. I don't go crazy with my skin care at night. Well, actually more at night than in the morning, but very refreshing, feels very good. I wish the lighting was better, I'm sorry. I have the Summer Friday's Light Vitamin C Eye Cream. My eye bags are like pretty bad today. Cool, don't know why, hate that for me. And then at nighttime, I've been using this Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream by Youth to the People. It's another like very refreshing thing and I think they use like cactus or something in this to make it special for them. <laughs> but I like it. It's a little bit, it's kind of like jelly, so not jelly, but it's more like gel texture than cream, which keeps it lightweight, but it's not like, I only need one round of it and my skin feels good because my skin's been pretty dry recently, especially my scalp. I don't know if you guys feel this way, but I feel like I need to put on deodorant before I go to bed. Like, I don't know why, like I feel like I'm smelly. Even like, not right after the shower, like I obviously am clean. Like I just washed my body, but if I sweat for one more second, I'm gonna start smelling. Like, I don't know what that is, and I used to never get that. Is that like a hormone thing? I don't know. Who's in 
annoying girl who's a good boy. <laughs> Look what you're doing over here. Pat's getting everything started. We're cooking salmon bowls. Oh, the avocado doesn't look great. It'll be okay though. I don't want that. All right, let's get a different one. Well, just like the middle part. I'll eat the outside part. And oh, why you're into it and what you like cooking. Come on, give I it. I like it because it gets me away from having to do the dishes. Because Julia does the dishes when I cook. Sometimes, yeah. I just like being creative with it. Just seeing what I can find and throw together. Mm -hmm. It's going to be just all these vegetables, mm -hmm. which I'll cook. The rice, garlic, and I'm not going to do all of that. Just rice, garlic, that carrots. That would be a lot of garlic. Yeah. Pepper and celery. Mm -hmm. And then... Ooh, I love celery. I'll do that. And then oh, the top family. will be just the salmon. And I'll do some spinach in there as well. And then I'll probably do the cucumbers uncooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to give a little... Are you going to cook the spinach? I think that would be good, right? Yeah. Like sautéed just, or whatever. Yeah, just with all the vegetables. Is this the only rice that we have? Yes. Okay, I will not recommend minute rice. I don't know how we bought this. Um, we use the white rice for willow. <laughs> it's just, you know, whatever. I guess it's fine. It's not branded properly for Julia. No, it's wait. It's one ingredient, brown rice. It says pre-cooked parboiled brown rice? What does that mean? You just don't need to like cook it. Like, how? Just do it on the side and just do it quick. I don't know how they do that, like how that's approved. Yes. I'm gonna have a little bit of wine. William, that's not for you. That's not for you. But the real magic is in the salmon. How we're gonna do this. Oh salmon. yeah. Are you gonna do that first? Yeah. Okay. A lot of people are like, can we see you get willow content? I'm like we, you need to do like a, show her, show them what you've done to like train her and stuff. Because I feel like all your tricks. Yeah, do your tricks. Good boy. For all of you wondering, she's a girl, but we call her good boy. We say good boy. And we call her William. And we call her William. It's just like a nickname that stuck. Yeah. It's like when you're mad, William. Yeah. Kind of like that. So this is just going to be the foundation. Just lemon. It's just going to be lemon on the bottom. I'm going to create this like the marinade for the salmon. And then it's going to cook. Mm -hmm. So the lemon on the bottom is pretty much that. Yeah. I got a lot of stuff out and going right now. The lemon is like really good on the salmon. I'm sure you guys have had lemon salmon. I feel like it's very popular, but Pat makes this like sauce and he'll tell you, but he just broils the salmon. Like that is the only thing. He doesn't like cook it and then broil it. Like the broiling is the cooking. And for some reason, I mean, if you know how to cook, you probably already know this. This is new news to us, but it just really makes it like crispy and like really good. Especially like the skin. Wait, is there skin on there? No. But you have made it with skin before, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it makes it like really crispy. <laughs> Whoa. <coughs> yeah. Come on I think I saw it on, honestly, probably TikTok. And they were like very specific with how they do it. The marinade? Yeah. Okay, what well, did like they say? A couple ounces of this, a couple ounces of that. Yeah. I just do the same base. Which is, but I don't like measure anything. Yeah. So, like soy sauce, we do the liquid aminos, same thing. Yeah. So it's just. You don't even really measure. A majority of that. Which, liquid aminos and like soy sauce is obviously like a very salty taste. Yeah. Did we even open this yet? No, I haven't had a burrito. Mm. We ran out of sriracha. And we love this sriracha. It's so good. Sriracha, which. Again, I don't measure. Once I have everything in there, I'll measure some mustard. It's Dijon mustard, Dijon. but you, you use them all different times. Yeah. And then maple syrup. Mm, the sweet which, and salty. So it's just going to make it, yeah, like a little spicy sweet. This already is going to have a lot of flavor, so you don't need a lot of seasoning. But oh, wait, actually, we were out of. We're, we're like. out of garlic powder. Out of garlic. There's none in there. Little, um, he, let me tell you guys that he actually doesn't know what he's putting on there no, with spices. He literally just picks whatever he wants and puts them on. I generally understand though. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying it's usually good. Like it's not, it's not bad, but like. Sesame seeds, which. Are you going to put this on the salmon and then cook it? Yeah. I'm going to put it in there while I'd start doing everything else and then cook mm -hmm. it. Is it good? It's good, yeah. Usually we've been going to this place called Randall's and it's kind of like 
literally on the bay, like the guys are in overalls and like water boots. Like it smells like really bad in there, but it's very fresh, like right off the boat kind of fish. Um, and it, I could tell a difference immediately. Like it was just so good. This was just bought from our like local grocery store, which is still pretty good because I think it's just like wild caught salmon, but um, yeah. it's just like so good from the other place. And we got like tuna steak from there and scallops and other stuff. But. Yeah. Okay, and here's the salmon. Then we're gonna take the sauce that we made and pour it on. Pour it on. I feel like I shouldn't do more than that. It's already like running in it. Smells good in here. Veggies are done. Salmon. Wow. That looks so good. And it smells amazing. See how it's like crisp and everything? All right, now you gotta plate it. And I can show from a, above. Okay. Here's how we plate it. Okay. Oh, you post about it, share about it. Right. Big serving of that. Mmm, cucumbers. It's gotta be aesthetic, I know. I don't about the look, I don't like the taste of it. Mm. This looks amazing. Everything. Mm hmm. That. So good. Like you're buying it in a restaurant. Oh, look at that. There you go. So good. There you go. Come on, sit down here. Have your first bite on camera. Oh, look, this sucks. It's not gonna suck, you made this a billion times. This looks delicious, and I know it's gonna be good. Every time. Oh, really good. It's such a great cook. Mm -hmm. You guys, look at this dog. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. Just... Okay, it's 7.53. I haven't read um, in two days, so I am going to finish Ugly Love, I think. Those are my two other books. This is basically my bedtime situation. I have, I don't know why my clip is here. The remote, my water bottle. I have my winged gummies, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. I have my code, it's Jules20 if you want 20% off of that. Um, there we go, so good. I have my Whey hand lotion, love this stuff. CBD cream. Pat's neck has been like killing him, so we use this cream sometimes. I also have like Arnica gel, and then this is just one of my soft lip creams, the Fresh Beauty, so really good. So early. I don't know how you guys stay up late. I feel like a lot of people will just stay up late. I mean, I'm gonna get in bed. What I'm trying to do is read um, at least a little bit, and then I will Oh my god, this keeps falling off. Probably watch TV to actually fall asleep. So growing up, I never had TV in my room, and I know a lot of people did, but you know, some people didn't as well. And it was nice, but now that I'm a big girl, I like to fall asleep to friends, and I also like to just watch shows. Hi. I just read for a little and I want to watch something. Right now HGTV is on, which is like our go-to. Go-to. HGTV, and if you listen to the podcast, then you probably hear a lot of like what we've been watching. Yeah. Um, we don't really have a show right now. Or I don't because I finished Ozark. I've been watching Inventing Anna, but it's like not my favorite. I don't know. What time is it? Oh, 8.30. It's like literally 8.30. But this is where the night ends, so. I guess I'll end the vlog. Hopefully it was like entertaining. I don't know, it was like a day in the life. He wasn't even really in it. Um, when I am doing like admin work, not really doing anything for content and just went to the, to worked out, to worked out. Did podcast stuff, so yeah. And then you got to see Pat cook. Turned out pretty good. <laughs> so that's it. See you guys in the next vlog. Love you. Peace. Peace and happiness and prosperity and love.